Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. TMC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877-96877. On Wednesday, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Conrad K. Sangma, had made an announcement on the various festivals to be held in the state from October 13th to 17th of December 2022 across the state of Meghalaya. The festivals are being organized by the state government of Meghalaya in partnership with the Department of Tourism, the Directorate of Sports and Youth Affairs and the Meghalayan Age Limited. At the same time, Sangma also announced the much-awaited inauguration dates of the Crowborough and Marriott Hotels in Shillong. And hence, uh, today we are here to announce uh, the uh, calendar of events for the autumn season for Meghalaya. And uh, we feel that after two years of COVID, where we have had a lot of challenges, tourism is uh, picking up and the response has been like never before. And uh, we have a huge inflow of tourists. And hence, it is important for us that we are able to maximize the overall uh, you know, situation here and get maximum benefit for our hotels and tour operators and all the other uh, stakeholders in the tourism sector. 7th of September, uh, we will be uh, inaugurating the new Taj Vivanta in the state, that is a pro hotel. The inauguration and launching will be on the 7th of September. So finally, a project that has been uh, lying and has been facing a lot of problems for the past 30 years, and many decades, and was on and off. Uh, finally, we have been able to conclude it now, and uh, as I said, on 7th of September will be the official inauguration of Taj Vivanta. And to follow that up, very soon after that, we will be inaugurating the uh, courtyard Marriott. And we are also in the process to ensure that more and more uh, hotels and other properties come up uh, throughout the state and those projects also are in the pipeline. Apart from that, we have also been uh, focusing a lot on homestays and as you are aware that uh, we are in fact uh, uh, giving one of the best homestay programs uh, in the entire country today. It will include uh, different kind of activities from international uh, uh, film festival uh, to the uh, winter tales which we had last time, uh, to going to the autumn festival, uh, the cherry blossom, blossom festival, the Mekong festival, uh, we will have uh, the Northeast Olympic Games, uh, we will have the, of course the Mangala and the Nokrim festival and uh, many such uh, programs will be held and as I said we will, uh, uh, we will uh, showcase that to you in a few minutes. Another very interesting program which we are going to have uh, sometime in the first week of November, which is a very unique one, is we are going to have a Umiyam Boating Revita. Here we plan to bring in about uh, you know, 50 to 100 boats and uh, we plan to have different kind of activities related to that. So during that time you will be finding, normally you will find just one or two boats in, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, Umiyam Lake. But uh, here we plan to really make it into a festival and a festive uh, kind of environment. So for the first time, there will be kind of a boating festival on Umiyam um, Lake and um, that is going to be in the month of November. We will show that also 